All right, so this is longboard technology. Today we're gonna to be looking at the uh, other planet, P2 channel track. One of the unique features of the uh, other planet skateboard trucks is that there are no bushings. That is probably one of the most sophisticated parts of a traditional kingpin or a reverse kingpin truck is the technology that's actually in the polyurethane that makes up the skateboard truck and provides the dampening. With another planet truck, none of that is necessary. There is actually a cam inside of there that is what the axle is moving on. So essentially you have this cam that's hanging out inside that channel and as you're turning, you're changing the location of that hanger on that cam profile. So by tuning the profile of that cam, you can change the ride quality of the skateboard truck. But is what's most interesting about this technology is that the center of this axle is actually raising away from the deck as it turns. So my pivot point is now down here and my center point of the axle has now moved up or away from the deck, which is extremely unique because now when I release the axle, it's gonna fall back to center. And there is no other skateboard truck out there that'll do that. So as I'm turning and I release the turn, the axle returns to center. Because of this raising center of gravity business, it's actually made a skateboard truck that is more stable and does not require bushings in order for it to feel and ride safe. And that's without any resistance. Yeah, without any resistance. Now, uh, it does have a system that allows you to put on resistance, and that is through um, O-rings. So the trucks come with, I think, three sets, three pairs, so six O-rings. I could be wrong on the numbers, but they just slide around on here on these tabs on either side, and they provide, they can actually provide a surprising amount of resistance. Not a ton, it doesn't approach the amount of resistance you can get from a bushing, but, and that is one of the limitations of, these, of this current design, is that it can't get a ton of resistance, but you really don't need it, and you probably even don't even want it with how wide the cam is. So the axle is probably the next component that's going on in here. So we have a glass filled nylon hanger that's injection molded around the axle. And the axle is pretty sweet. It is actually a half inch diameter chromoly steel that's been hardened. And on the eight millimeter axle version, that half inch diameter comes almost all the way out to the end of the axle and then shoulders down to the eight inch. So it maintains a significant amount of its strength throughout the hanger simply because it has so much mass of steel in there. Mm -hmm. So it's a very strong skateboard truck. Instead of being a kingpin truck, other planet trucks are actually a channel truck. So you have the axle that's trapped inside of these two parallel surfaces. The axle is held in place by these two channel walls that guide the motion of the axle. So as you lean, the axle's just moving in that trapped plane. And it can't move in any other direction but around this it's fixed pivot. It can't move side to side. It can't rotate like this. Exactly. It's an extremely simple way to trap the axle and make sure it does not move in any other direction. Whereas if we look at this reverse kingpin truck, you essentially just have your pivot cup here and a kingpin that is perpendicular to that pivot cup. As the axle is rotating, 
it's revolving around in that pivot cup and it's being dampened by the bushings that are attached to that kingpin. You do have a little bit of play that isn't in the same rotation as that pivot cup. So the axle has an, has an ability to be able to wander outside of, you know, the most direct path. The other thing that's really cool about the trucks, I think, is they have a tremendous range of motion in how far you can lean. It can actually lean 32 degrees, which is a lot more than you can try to get out of this reverse kingpin truck here. It's bottoming out. It's actually hitting the washer right here. And that's about 17 degrees. So this can lean 17 degrees. This can lean 32 degrees. Probably the main drawback of the other plant trucks is the fact that they have a very low pivot angle. So if you look at here, this channel is very close to being vertical. This, this angle right here is very close to being 90 degrees. This is actually only a 17 degree base plate. Whereas this thing, do you know what the, it's probably 50 or 45, right? Yeah, it's, I think it's probably a 50. That means this turns a lot more for every degree of lean. So, even, so with these trucks, even though you can lean a lot farther, you have, to, you have to lean farther to turn just as much because the angle is so low. I mean, in, in order to ride them, you have to find either a deck that's got wedges on it to give the trucks a higher degree of, of, of turning, or you have to, you know, put wedges on it like, like these. And th these wedges are probably 20 degrees and they probably take the turning up to, to around 35 degrees. But it's a really cool and very interesting piece of technology. And there's really isn't a whole lot of, of designs out there that really even approach what they're doing. And yeah, it's, um, what do you have to say? <laughs> so it's an extremely unique design that eliminates a lot of the guesswork of tuning bushings and is a skateboard truck that has massive amounts of lean and deck tip without having bushings to make it feel like it's stable at high speeds. So it's a pretty sweet truck. It's a definitely a unique piece of technology and it works. This is Longboard Technology, over and out.